Hi there, welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So, how do you get somebody to love your cleaning service, but they may not be able to tell you exactly why? That's right, they may not be able to put their finger on the reason or reasons why they love it. I have an idea about this. In the last 10 years, Tony and I have been developing software. So, for example, it might be invoicing software, it might be inspection software. And when we do that, certainly those software functionalities have to work. But that's what any software developer has to do. I think the unique thing that happens, I might call 1,000 questions. It's how you answer the 1,000 questions about how it will do those functions how it will handle invoicing or inspection as an example. Because the thing is, how it looks, how it navigates, what it gives folks, what words it uses, what it doesn't use, how it connects different parts of the program, the endless hundreds and hundreds, I'm sure that add up to a thousand questions. How we answer that, I think, makes all the difference. Now, because Tony and I have a background in cleaning, for over 20 years we ran a cleaning business. So we think one of the unique advantages that we might have is to bring the perspective of a real cleaning service for decades running a company with lots of employees. So when we answer those 1,000 questions, we try to answer it from the perspective of remembering running a cleaning service, what you might like in a software. So the end result is when you use the software, we get lots of comments from folks and they're wonderful. And they say, you know, I just love the program. Well, why is that? I think it's because of how all those answers came together in how they use the program and what it gives them. It's just, that's what they were looking for. It delights them. Well, of course, the same thing goes for a cleaning business. There's so many questions about how you do your marketing, who you hire, how you train them, what supplies you use, what equipment you use, how you handle quality control, how you handle supervision, how you handle customer service, right? There's, there's a thousand questions that need to be answered, and it's how you answer those questions. But this time, it's not from the perspective of, of a cleaning business owner, that's what we're using, we're thinking about. You'd be thinking about the property manager or the building owner. So when you answer those questions and you say, well, what chemical would we use or chemicals would we use that would delight the customer from their perspective? How would we train our people that really would just, our building owners and managers would love the way we trained our people or customer service. They would love our quality control. When you answer those thousand questions from that perspective, again, I think you have a very good shot at delighting your customers and they say, boy, I just love this program. So the answer is, hopefully, 1,000 questions. And I hope those answers give you a wonderful cleaning company, too. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.